higher on the racetrack and running faster. There is uh, Sterling Marlin as he is going backwards as Dale Earnhardt and Kyle Petty and uh, uh, Dale Jarrett are moving forward. And now here's a battle for the lead again as Ernie Urban has decided he wants to take back the lead. He and Jeff Bodine move side by side into first and second turns. Jeff Bodine hangs on Ooh. and Ernie Urban is going to spin down the back stretch. And he spins to the inside of the racetrack. Let's see, is the caution coming out? Not yet because he's going and was no out of the caution. way of everything, so no caution. He did damage the car. You can see he hit the inside retaining wall and did bend in the bodywork on the tires on the left side as tire smoke is evident. However, Ernie Urban stays on it and no yellow on the racetrack. We continue. Let's take a look at it once again. Here's what happened as he and Jeff came off the second corner. Looks like Darlington all over again. This is exactly what happened coming off turn four at Darlington last week. Ernie once again spins. He has the car. He's hits the accelerator. Now he's on the brakes. We see the tire stop and goes down and just barely hits the inside retaining wall. And Ernie Urban has brought the car into the pit area. There it is. The crew goes to work on it, trying to get that sheet metal away. Let's go to the pit area. Well, but Bobby's already lost a single lap here. Robert Larkin, the front tire guy, is beating on the wheel there, trying to get it in. They haven't got the fender pulled back enough to allow him to do that. Urban certainly is going to get out at least two laps and maybe three before he gets out of here. Urban, done, not really done. They haven't got the tire out of the left rear corner. A very, very costly stop for Ernie Urban. He pulls back out, but here comes the field, and Ernie Urban is going to go three laps down as the leaders pass by on the high side of the racetrack. Look at Dale Earnhardt in third place, and Earnhardt spins coming off two. Same exact spot as, and he hits it real hard for the rear of the car. Well, let's see. The caution is coming out this time. Because Earnhardt's car is stopped at the exit of the pit, pit area, the backstretch pit area, the yellow flag does come out. Earnhardt gets his car moving. Here comes Bodine. I think that Earnhardt's going to say he's getting left. Well, let's see. Now, he should be. Yeah, he's in front of the leader, so he should be able to pass the pace car and come on around. And we'll replay this incident. Coming off again, corner number two in almost exactly the same spot that Ernie Irvin lost it. Exactly. He tried to turn under Martin. Martin just lost the back end, and around he goes. Well, on the brakes, we see the car start. Side. Well, we've heard all week about the sealer that they put down on the racetrack. We're not going to blame that, but certainly we are seeing some unusual situations here as Dale Earnhardt, who you don't see spin very often in competition, loses it coming off corner number two. Let's go down to Jerry Punch. Earnhardt Chevrolet has come to rest here on pit road. The damage primarily to the right rear of the car, although all four tires are flat. The left rear tire completely off the red. They will have to make a four tire change. They are trying to peel some of the sheets out of the way. They have got the right side tire change. They do not have time to change left side to keep from losing a lap. Now he will go back on the track with no tire on the left rear. That is a wheel only rolling around the racetrack. And they are getting ready to bring him back in. They had to make sure they didn't lose a lap. They have one person in the pit who watches for that Pontiac safety car. And they waved and only had the right side tires back on. And, and Jerry, they're getting the one lap signal to go, and he does have to come back in the pits. He can still go a lap down because they'll get the green flag the next time around. Here comes Earnhardt down off the fourth turn banking, heading headed for the pit area once again to get that tire changed on the left side of the car. But unless the crew does some very quick work here, he could go a lap down to the field. They go to work and look at him scurrying to change the tires on the left side of the race car. Field is getting lined up in turn number three. There goes Earnhardt, and he is going to stay on the lead lap. He's yeah. got some tire smoke. Quite a bit of tire smoke off that left rear. I hope that the quarter panel isn't rubbing that tire. 